It's raining again. Oh, wait, wait. The sun's like kind of coming out. Well, not really on that side, but like kind of. I got a uh, speeding ticket as I was going to pick up lunch for Angela and I, reminded by the fact that I still had my driver's license out. Have you seen videos where I still had hair? Well, that's what it looked like. But I'll be completely damned to allow events and weather like this to impair my, our ability to have fun as we hang out in here, the Spindat Mini warehouse shit. There's just too much good fun time going on in here, so let's get to it. First things first, perhaps you recognize this thing. This is my friend Jeff's Rocky Mountain. We built it last summer. We put the drop bars on it. I swapped it to a nine speed, but 10 speed version. And then threw on a narrow wide chain ring along with some more modern modern cantilever brakes. It is here for this. So here's the story. When I was looking at the Ritchie catalog, when I was like figuring out exactly what I wanted to put onto the rock hopper, the rock hopper, I knew that I was trying to bring the bar back just a little bit towards the saddle. And I was like, okay, I have a 70 millimeter road stem that I threw on there because I had it. Um, I'll just shorten that. I'll go from a 70 millimeter to a 45. And then looking at the Ergomax bars that I decided to go with, they also have rise and back sweep, which also shortens the amount of reach that you have on the bike. And boy, howdy, I think I may have gone a little too short on my stem selection after riding it a couple of times. And I was like, slightly more upright and comfortable than I'm used to. I may have overestimated the amount that I needed to shorten. And then we have Jeff over here who's using a 100 millimeter stem that I donated to the cause when we first built this bike and his eyes are going, I want less reach. How do I do that? Anyway, <laughs> the deal that I came up with my friend Jeff was you get me a 60 millimeter version of this stem that I'm very fond of that I went too short and you can have the 45. So that's what we did. The 60 mil version is not here yet, but it's going to be that absolute sweet spot between the 70 and the 45 that I was running. And I'll finally have the fit absolutely perfected on the rock hopper with parts that I'm very proud to have it done. And Jeff gets a sick world championship trail stem out of the whole thing. Okay. Commence the great stem swap of 2021. There you go, short stem, Rocky Mountain Whistler. I think, I think this thing definitely wears the shorter stem a hell of a lot better than the rock hopper did. It might, it just might wear it better than the longer stem. Though I am such a long stem boy, it's hard to say. Um, I get a lot of questions from people who are like, where did you get that? Where's that from? How do I get that? A lot of the parts on this bike when we built it, we ordered them from Jensen. The fork and the few other parts that I bought for the Ronster Cross, I ordered quite a bit from them, which is useful because I now have like this, this link down below where I like signed up for a thing that's a referral program. If you click on it, uh, there's like, I get five cents or something like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, Jeff, your bike is ready. Still shifting perfectly with the nine cog, 10 speed setup. Come get it out of my shed. That's funny. Literally, as I'm finishing Jeff's bike up, I get a notification that my new Richie trail stem shows up. So I guess I'll just put it up. Can't help but wonder if the same result would occur if I start doing some uh, impatient work with the GTMX. Stuff showing up literally as I'm doing it. There. All is right with the world. Again, not wanting to bother anybody at Richie for my fit decisions mistake. We got this uh, through Jensen. Link 
Okay. Yeah. Woo! Now that was a disaster. Okay, the next thing, the next thing we're gonna do is not work on the GTMX. But like there's definitely something else I wanted to do in here. It's fun to hang out, so so let's just like uh Let's just talk about it. Do you remember or did you watch the video where I introduced the uh, the Norton and Ride Reasonably Priced Bikes stickers were gonna be like launching on a Saturday, they launched. By the way, the sticker sold out in 30 hours. That is insane. Thank you to everybody who got one. I hope they're all arrived. While I was shooting that like opening scene where I was skateboarding back and forth on the indoor mini ramp, uh, I dropped in once and you see I drop in and the wheel just gets caught so hard. And I am just like on the, like slam onto the ground, not expecting it. And I'm like, what? Oh. And then for the rest, for the rest of the video, I had to like just push and skateboard on this one that has been reinforced because I broke through it as well. I am absolutely without a doubt certain you can see where this is going. I need to resurface the other, the other side of the quarter pipe mini ramp, you know, for the continuation of the spin dat mini warehouse dream. I don't have a lot of wood, but like knowing that I wanted to do this in this video, I went to the other sheds and uh, just, just to see, just to see what kind of wood the previous owner had left me. There's this very thin piece that's actually gonna be too narrow. So I could try and a few pieces and bring it across but I don't think it's gonna be enough and then there's this just like these diagonally these diagonally cut pieces that if I put them together the right way over that uh, maybe I won't notice that there's that it's awful I think I'm gonna do that I hope you guys aren't minding like just kind of hanging out with me uh, these are like my favorite, absolute favorite videos to make. They're just so fun. Piece, this piece is obviously like way too long. Um, it fits okay. It's actually pretty nice out now, but I'm like, I'm just so dedicated to this now that it's like, I'm not even, it'll just make me mad otherwise. Yeah, that'll do it. I think that's my hand. It's over. We had fun anyway.